Welcome to episode two of Obamanism. Our dilemma didn't start with our new leader. The last group poured the first oil down the slippery slope and wore their rose-colored glasses while working. They were told by the secret group to start the exodus into the new beginning that is coming and used old weapons to give America the horrific warnings of our demise. They brought the first puppet to the stage and pulled his strings with glee. Adding another suit to the mix, they slowly began to weave their web. The Federal Reserve awoke and began to feed. Obamanism that's injected flows through America's veins and a numbness begins to spread. Warnings apparent are completely ignored. Some captains of them are thrown under the bus. White collar bohemus are small diversions for the greater good. Politicians are used to keep us entertained as the giant platform begins to move. Mount Doom explodes, another belch and sends shocks through the world. Our leader uses six letters to give us hope. Leaders of corruption begin to conspire looking for a chink in the armor of the giant. Some appeal to the poor, people with their steps towards power. Others try to take over more of the world they live in. Wars that have been ongoing for thousands of years. Fears of the world is spread about global warming. Pollution pours out from industry giants with no control. Every day people sleep where they can. Some move here and there looking for work as the money flows to the fat cats and government. Capitalism is crumbling around us as we look on. Some that are lucky are living in huts and the cupboards are being empty and people are manipulated like little rubber dolls. The great ones are watching and waiting to spring. The new order world is slowly gliding into place. Abominism, another ingredient into the stew. It tastes just like chicken. New orders, soon to be given to you. Yes, Rome is burning and we can't seem to react. Yes, we want to be free. More info is coming in Obamanism Part 3.